Natalie Dillon, born Francine Canovas, also known as Natalie Barthelemy, 1 August 1941, 21 January 2021, was a French actress and film director. In her first acting role, she appeared opposite her husband, actor Elaine Dillon, in the neo-noir film Le Samurai directed by Jean-Pierre Melville, 1967. Their highly publicized marriage dissolved after four and a half years, but she went on to appear in some 30 films and directed two more. Born, Francine Canova's 1 August 1941 Auge de Morocco died, 21 January 2021 Paris, France. Occupation actress, film directorias ACTIV 1965-2010 Spouses, Guy Barthelemy. 1959-1962, Elaine Dillon 1964-1969, children 2 including Anthony Dillon. Life and Film, on 13 August 1964, Natalie married the actor Elaine Dillon, with whom she was expecting a child in the war at Cher. After the wedding, attended by the mayor and two witnesses and kept secret until after they left the country the couple boarded the SS. France of Le Havre for a honeymoon in the United States. They then went to Hollywood. Because Elaine Dillon had a contract with Metro Goldwyn Mayer, MGM, but it was soon terminated by the American company. Their son, Anthony Dillon, was born the following month at Cedars Sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles. In 1967, Natalie became the film actress, starring opposite her husband in the film with Samurai by Jean-Pierre Melville, which became a hit. Writing of the Dillon's performances. In Le Figaro, Bertrand Guyard notes husband and wife are both nearly silent, but their phases, fraught with meaning, are enough to thrill the camera with a directed drawing. From their portrayals, a mythical couple in the seventh art. On 14 February 1969, the couple divorced after four and a half years of marriage. Thereafter, Natalie Dillon continued her acting career until the 1980s. In 1971 she appeared in Renate Bell's Club with Anthony Hopkins. In a review in the New York Times, critic Vincent Candy said a performance evokes all the mystery and enchantment of Bella Darby's performance as the physicist in Samuel Fuller's Hell and High Water Dodd in 1973, she appeared in a sex shop, her turn one of the Film's moments of real pleasure as one of its really marvelous girls, Roger Greenspun, wrote in the New York Times. In addition to acting in 30 films in her career, she also directed two Ills Apple and Ka. An Accident, Transl. They Call It An Accident in 1982 and Sweet Lies in 1988. They Call It An Accident, which Dylan directed and wrote, is the story of a mother whose son dies in surgery. Later life, in 2006, Dylan published a memoir, Poor Pa, Say Pa Grave, Don't Cry. It's okay. Le Figaro described it as an account of a dark period in her life, her painful marriage to Dylan and his infidelities, her descent into drug use yet includes moments that made her laugh and the reader too by extension. Delicious and entertaining. Anecdotes. Natalie Dylan died at the age of 79, on 21 January 2021 in Paris, from cancer. The actress Natalie Dillon, who had notably played in The Samurai, by Jean-Pierre Melville, with her husband at the time, Elaine Dillon, died Thursday, January 21st in Paris, at the age of 79, announced the agent's France press, AFP, his son, Anthony Dillon. My mother died this morning at 11 a.m. in Paris, surrounded by her loved ones. She died of cancer. Asked, Natalie and Elaine Dillon's son Anthony said, I am very sad. It always hurts me, eh? Lot when those I loved leave Elaine Dillon told AFP. Natalie was my first wife and only. Madam Dillon, he added. Exactly one year after her death due to overwhelming cancer, the general public will soon be able to discover the last moments of Natalie Dillon's life, filmed by her son Anthony. He notably revealed that his mother wanted to live these last moments with his sister, Louise.